This is lesson 10.5, Tangents. Your objectives are to solve problems with tangents and solve problems involving circumscribed polygons. A tangent is a line or a segment or ray that touches a circle at exactly one point. The tangent can be a noun, which would be the line or segment itself, or it could be an adjective to say that the line is tangent to the circle. The point where it hits the circle is called the point of tangency. And from the radius drawn from the center to the point of tangency, we get a right angle. So the radius is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. If we were to close that up, we could have a right triangle, which means we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find side lengths of that triangle. Determine whether each segment is tangent to the given circle. Justify your answer. Well, what we're testing for is a right angle there. In order to be a right angle, that must be a right triangle. So let's test the Pythagorean theorem to see if it works. 20 squared plus 21 squared equals 28 squared. 20 squared plus 21 squared is 841. 28 squared is 784. Since those are not equal, then segment MP can't be a tangent because that is not a right triangle. So segment MP is not tangent to the circle. The Pythagorean theorem has to work in order to get a right triangle. If it's not a right triangle, we don't have a right angle and therefore we don't have a tangent. Number two is segment QR tangent to the circle. Well, we need a right angle there, so let's test the Pythagorean theorem. 14 squared plus 48 squared equals 50 squared. 14 squared plus 48 squared is 2,500. 50 squared is 2,500. Those are equal, so that is a right triangle. So we do have a right angle. So segment QR is tangent to the circle. If the Pythagorean theorem works, then we have a right triangle and we have a tangent. Find x. Assume that segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Here we have to have a second rule. If you have two tangents that intersect outside the circle at the same point, then those tangents are congruent. If that's 5, then that one is 5. That's another property of tangents. So on question three, that's exactly what's going on here. We have two tangents that intersect at the same point. They must be congruent. So their measures must be equal. Write your equation, making the measures equal, and solve. 7x minus 3 equals 5x plus 1. Solve for x. Get your x's on the same side by subtracting 5x. Add 3 to both sides. And divide by 2. So x is 2. But again, that all came from these two segments being congruent because tangents that intersect at the same point are congruent.
they say this has to be tangent, which means that since we have a radius drawn to the point of tangency, there must be a right angle there, which means that has to be a right triangle. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. 10 squared plus 15 squared equals x squared. The x squared is by itself because it's the hypotenuse. 10 squared plus 15 squared is 325. To undo the square, square root each side, nearest 10th, and x is approximately 18.0. Do not call that 18, that's 18.0 because it was 18.02. Two rounds down, so the zero stays the same. That has to be a right triangle there for that to be a tangent, so the Pythagorean theorem helps us solve. For each figure, find x, then find the perimeter. On question five, I have three places here where there are tangents intersecting at an outside point. Segment UD and segment DV have to be the same. Segment CU and segment CT have to be the same. And segment BT and segment BV have to be the same. I know that those two are the same, so that means that 3x has to equal 18. Divide by 3, and x is 6. That's my first answer. I can go ahead and put an 18 over here for segment CT. As I work my way around, if segment TB is 12, segment VB is also 12. On the top, I need to do some segment addition. The whole thing is 52. One part is 18. 18 plus what gets you the whole thing? 52. So that has to be 34, because 18 plus 34 is 52, which means this segment BV has to be 34. Now I have all the segments all the way around, so I can add those up. So the perimeter will be 18 plus 18 plus 34 plus 34 plus 12 plus 12, adding up all the way around, making 128. Remember that two tangents that hit at the same point are congruent. Remember to do some segment addition sometimes, and then the perimeter add up all the way around. Number six has a similar type of question. Notice I've got four times here where tangents are congruent. The two 18s, a six here, and a six here. So I can go ahead and mark that. I have a 13 for this whole side. 6 plus what gives you the 13? And that would make a 7 for the other part. This corner would be 7 and 7. I have the whole thing 14. 7 plus what gives you 14? Making another 7. And then on the top corner, those are the same. So 7 and 7 for there. And I can see already in the picture there, x has to equal 7. For the perimeter, add up all the way around. The two 18s, the two 6s, the two 7s, and the other two 7s. And they add up to 76. So watch for your segment addition. Remember, each corner, they're going to be the same, 7 and 7.
7 and 7, 6 and 6, 18 and 18.